What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using a multi-scale weakness policy Lugia team to feature on the Series 12 ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day. Just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Just want to give a huge shout out to everybody supporting me because it really does go a long way. But let's get right into it. Let's get right after it. Starting off in that top left corner with today's team preview. Start off with Raichu. It's got the lightning rod as its ability. Also with that focus ash as its item. It's got brutal swing to proc with its policy on Lugia. And then it's got nuzzle for paralyzes. Fake out for flinches and protect just to protect his little old self. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be right next to him. It is going to be Lugia over here with that multi scale and the weakness policy as its item. Lugia is one of those restricted mods who is really strong, but really only when its weakness policy is proc. So if we can get that proc with Raichu, I think Lugia can roll out strong and grab us some wins. We got Earth Power for coverage, recover to recover some HP, Arrow Blast for stab, and then last but not least, this Pokemon is also rocking protect. Middle left is going to be our choice Scarf Landers with Intimidate as its ability. It's got Rock Tomb for coverage, Earth Power for stab, Bulldoze for stab, and for mostly speed control. And then it's got U-Turn to pivot out in case we don't like the position we are in. Because, you know, we cannot use two different moves with the choice Scarf. So if I don't like the position I'm in, I'm just going to U-Turn out and save Landers for another turn. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Porygon 2 over here. And Porygon 2 is actually good in a lot of different situations. It just has a lot of versatility to, to him. It's got Foul Play, it's got Recover alongside with Trick Room and Eerie Impulse, and then obviously it has that Trace and Evo Light as its item and ability. But I really do like this Pokemon. Foul Play can do some big damage on some big physical attackers. It's got Recover to stay in the battle a bit longer. It's got Trick Room to actually pop the Trick Room or counter it. Then the Eerie Impulse. Eerie Impulse, you guys know, works so well up against special attackers, which is just such a good move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Incineroar over here. Really great Pokemon. Probably one of the better support Pokemon in Series 12. I shouldn't say support Pokemon. I should say better all around Pokemon in Series 12. Because, you know, it can hit like a truck sometimes. And it can also be nice on the support side with Parting Shot and Intimidate. It's got Safety Goggles as its item. And it's Rock and Flare Blitz, Will O' Wisp, Darkest Larry, and Fake Out for its moveset. So we have two Fake Out users, which can do us very, very well. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be our second restricted mod. It is going to be Yveltal over here with the Dark Aurora alongside with that Assault Vest to make it a bit bulkier on that special defense side. It's got Oblivion Wing, Sucker Punch, Snarl, and Heat. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this weakness policy. Lugia team. Before we even get started with battle number one, I want to know for question of the day right here, right now in the comment section down below, should I start showcasing Series 13 I've seen other people starting to use Series 13 and bringing their fans some rental code. So I'm curious, do you guys want me to wait a little bit longer till Series 13 gets closer? Or should I just get right after it right now and start showcasing Series 13? Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below your guys' answer. And if we get enough people saying, yeah, showcase Series 13 teams, I'll start showcasing them. Because I do have a few. Also, guys, if you want to leave me Series 13 team, teams, head down to my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. Tweet at me, DM me, and send me all your guys' rental teams. I would love to use them for videos and check them out to the fullest potential. But let's get after it. Hopping into our first battle, going up against a heavy meta series 12 team with Kyogre Zassian, then he has Landers, Zapdos, Grimstarl, and Wimscott. So I could pop Trick Room right here, or I could go on the Raichu and just kind of pop a Brutal Swing. Could fake out, could start nuzzling around. We do have a lot of different options that we can actually do. So let me just see your summary real quick. 178, you are higher on the speed. I'm thinking I'm just going Raichu and Lugia. I kind of dig it. I do kind of dig this leader here. So I'm going to go Raichu, Lugia. I am going to bring you Beltal in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm leaning a bit towards Landorus or maybe even Incineroar. I mean, Landorus is actually a little bit better here. It has a choice scarf. It can outspeed a lot. I like it. And plus, it has Intimidate just like Incineroar. So I'm going to lock in Landorus. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in Battle Number 1. Also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, I'm streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name is legit. Right down here, right below my face cam. Jeans25 over on Twitch, and we have a link down in the description below. So come check us out. Come hang out. We've been playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the casual ladder, and just playing some Series 13 teams. And we've also been doing Splatoon content over there. So if you guys are interested, definitely head over there. Pop in and say what's up to me. But uh, he's going to end up leading Kai Ogre and Wimscott, and I could nuzzle turn one. I could definitely nuzzle turn one. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? I could definitely nuzzle and just protect. I'm kind of leaning towards. Do I want to do that? Or I could pop a brutal swing. Or I could fake out. I have a lot of different options. I kind of just want to nuzzle you. I kind of just want to nuzzle this Kyogre, slow him down a little bit. 
I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna nuzzle and I'm going to boost her speed and go into an airstream and proc with this policy next turn. I'm kind of with that because Lugia can soak up a, a decent amount here. Lugia can soak up with the multi scale with a focus ash on the Raichu. Plus, we'll get the speed boost and we will paralyze the Kyogre. And then if I want to proc the policy next turn, I do like it. I do indeed like it. But I wonder what he's gonna do here. Might protect the Wimscott. Thinking that we're going for a fake out into it, which could have been the call, but I just feel like Nuzzle's gonna be the play. Let's see how this one plays out here. What are you doing, kind sir? He's gonna end up going into the protect with the Kyogre. That's totally fine. Are you gonna double protect? He's gonna taunt me. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Nuzzle's gonna come out here. It is gonna get blocked. We're gonna take a bit of speed here. And more importantly, we are going to pick up. Uh, probably bring this thing down to Sash, right? Yeah, so that thing is Sash. He's probably gonna tail next turn, but there's some nice speed for us. Some lovely speed for us. So I could actually proc policy right here. I'm kind of leaning towards. Kind of leaning towards procing policy and then getting after that guy. Where do I just nuzzle him? I'm gonna proc policy. Proc policy, take out the Wimscott, and then get the special defense boost, or do I get a speed boost? What would be better for me? What would be better for me? A speed boost? I feel like the speed boost would stab. Really good. I am digging that. I am really digging the speed boost. Because he is going to Tailwind just to take speed across the board. And then if I can go up plus two, we can start nuzzling his Pokemon, which I really like. So he's going to Tailwind. He's got to be sending like a Water Spout, right? Got to be sending a Water Spout. He's going to go for the Water Spout. That's totally fine. Multi scale is going to allow us to soak. Focus Ash is going to come out here. And then Brutal Swing is going to proc the policy. And then we, we're going to be getting one from here. I like it. I dig it a lot. Wimscott goes down. Airstream's coming out here. And then I can start nuzzling up next turn, which is huge. Which is huge. So good thing I did go for the airstream. The airstream has a chance to actually take it on Kyogre. Policy proc. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We're going to send this. Take him out, please. You do not take him out. That hurts the soul, but still. We can start nuzzling across. We can start nuzzling. So I'm going to nuzzle the next Pokemon that comes out here. And we'll deal with the Kyogre afterwards. We're just gonna get after it. So I like these turns that we just did. We get rid of the one Scott. I wish I would have got rid of the Kyogre there, but Lugia is still a bit bulkier, which is great. He's gonna go on a Landers, and I, I can't really do much against him. I cannot really do much against him. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. The Tailwind is annoying too. I could protect. I could protect and start wasting out Tailwind turns. That is definitely an option. That is definitely an option, because how many turns are left in Tailwind? Just three. Just got to start it. Um, I could go here. I could go protect here because Kai Ogre is probably looking to take him out. And I could just go into an airstream and boost speed again. That's exactly what I'm going to do because I think he Dynamaxes the Lando here. As long as he's... Oh, he could be dropping a rock. Rock could do me dirty. Rock could do me dirty. The thing is, if he drops a rock, it's going to be super effective on the Lugia. But more importantly, he, gets, he starts getting off the buffets. And I really want Raichu for one more turn. Just so I can nestle the next Pokemon after I take a Kai. But yeah, he's definitely going to be dropping a lock, right? Or he could be going for an Airstream. He could be going for an Airstream. I'd rather him go for an Airstream. I would rather him go for an Airstream. So he ends up Dynamaxing the Lando. Totally fine. And what's he going to go for here? He's going to protect this lovely little Raichu. Throw up the shield. And I like his shiny form. Just a nice little tint of yellow. Different tint. And he's going to end up protecting him. Okay, so that's totally fine. I feel like this uh, airstream should still be able to take him out. So we're going to go next. Airstream, please take him out. Please take him out, airstream. Let's go. Big time KO. I like that all day. So he wasted a turn with protect. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Speed boost coming in here. As long as he's not going after Raichu. Dropping rock. We could really be thriving here. Which I think he's dropping rock now that he protected that, uh, that Kyogre. Now he's going to go for an airstream. Go into Lugia, please. Yes, cool. Awesome. Love it. I love it. I love it. So, Lugia is still faster than Landers, which is huge. And now we can get off a Nuzzle. So I'm just going to Nuzzle his next Pokemon. My Taunt's gone. That did nothing. I'm just going to Nuzzle the next Pokemon. And I think I'm just going to go into the Blast here. Into Landers. I do dig it. It's got to be Zacian, right? It is going to be Zacian. So, we still have Intimidate Landers in the back end, which is going to work for Landers. And hopefully he doesn't protect here. <clears throat> I'm hoping he does not protect. Because, again, I would love to get off this Nuzzle. This Nuzzle would be type nice. Nuzzle would be type nice. So we're just gonna nuzzle over on you, and then again, I guess we're just gonna air blast because I really don't want to double down. I could go for the recover here. I might actually end up doing. I could go for the air blast, or I could go for the recover. Or I could just protect this turn. 
I'm think. Hmm. I don't want to recover. He's pretty bulky, but if we get out these two, we should be thriving here. Especially after we nuzzle, and then we have the choice scarf on top of that. I'm digging that. We go for air blast. Let's just send an air blast. Sassy might be protecting. Hopefully not. I just want to get off this nuzzle. God dang it. He's definitely dropping a rock on me. So he ends up protecting. I'm going to go for nuzzle. He's going to block it. So that kind of hurts the soul there. That kind of hurts soul. Air blast is going to fly here. And is that a crit? That's some big time damage. Wasn't even a crit. Airstream coming through here. Dude, if I can get off a nuzzle. Because Raichu might still be faster. Raichu still might be faster. Raichu still might be faster. You know what I kind of want to do here? I kind of want to go into, uh... I kind of want to go into what's it called here? Landers and then U-turn out. I kind of just want to U-turn out with this choice scarf. And go for a nuzzle. I actually still might be faster than that Zassy. I'm plus three. If I can U-turn out, I can just get off another Intimidate. Which works wonders. It works wonders. So he still has a few more turns here. I'm just going to go for the nuzzle again. And I'm going to go for the U-turn out. Or I could just... Me turn out. I would love to get off another Intimidate. I would love to get off another Intimidate. And I wonder if Landers is faster. Well, my Landers, because we're Choice Scarf. But I think they're... Are they still in the Tailwind? No, it had to have been. It had to have been a little bit ago. But this is a great first battle. A great first battle. We still have Yvelta in the back end. But it definitely is a problem up against that, uh... That Zazzy. Unless we get this Nuzzle off so we can start getting some first turn moves. And plus then Rain can end. We have Heat Wave. We have a few different options. We get off some... Some big damage on them. What a first battle, yo. We are out here playing a good match. I love the master tier when we have battles like this. He's going to end up going first. He's going to go for an airstream. Please don't take out my Raichu. He goes after Landers and Landers, you don't eat? You don't eat? That hurt. You get a crit. Oh my god. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I was going to say, you were minus one and you're not going to eat that. Raichu, can you outspeed that Zassian? Probably not, right? Maybe. Can you? Can you get off this nuzzle? It'll be a big time nuzzle. And of course it doesn't. That's just GG's at this point. Oh my god, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Crits do me dirty. Crits do me dirty again. Nothing's changed. Nothing's new here, ladies and gents. Nothing's new here. We're going to hope that this Zassian is not rock and play rough. But it probably is. Some of them do. But some of them don't. Some of them don't. But uh, yeah, we're going to go into Yavata here. And I guess we're just going to start dropping heat. But he has speed on me all day, which hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. Definitely hurts the soul. Oh man, dude, I tried getting that nuzzle on that Zassian a while ago. Of course he gets a crit, because Lander should have still been alive, and I could have gotten off another Intimidate here. Another Intimidate would have been huge. These guys would have been, well, Zassian would have been minus one, and Landers would have been minus two. That would have been enormous, but we're just going to go for a Heat Wave here. He's going to go for a player off, and he misses it. Give me give me a burn. Give me a burn on him. Do not flinch me. Do not, do not RNG me. Do not RNG me dirty like that. Do not do me dirty like that. He's going to lose some Life Orb damage. And we're going to be able to drop a Heat Wave here. Get a burn on the Zassian. Get a burn on the Zassian. Burn the Zassian. Nope, RNG sucks. Man. It stinks. He's going to land his next player off, and that is not looking good for us. It's looking no bueno. It's looking no bueno. Can I do anything to kind of get after us? We got to go for another Heat Wave. We need him missing a player off. Yo, miss your player off. Or he might just go into a Blade here and finish me off. And there's the player off. Like I said, the next one was going to hit, and he ends up landing. But yo, that hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. Because my, my what's called should still be alive here. My landers and I could have dropped like an earth power or something like that. It always hurts a little bit when you lose a battle to RNG. Critical hit just did us dirty. We definitely probably would have won that battle because Landers would have came in the back end and he would have cleaned up a lot considering he was choice scarfed and he was super effective up against that Zassian. But hey, we're hopping into our second battle going up against a Frost Moth team. And if you guys see my Frost Moth video, you guys know that this Pokemon is absolutely insanely strong. It's such a strong Pokemon and great all around. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I'm thinking of leading like maybe Landers here. I'm trying to think. He has a bunch of cool Pokemon. He has the Lunala. He has the Zekrom. He has the Grimmsnarl. Celesteela. He also has the uh, the Rotom Heat as well, which I gotta watch out with for Levitate. But usually I don't forget about the Levitate on the Heat. But uh, how should I play this one? I could go Lugia Raichu again. Proc Policy. Kind of get rolling from there. I could go P2 to kind of get after like, Trick Room if I want to. Hmm. What is my play? What is my play? What do I want to do? I mean, he might go in with Lunala, Lunala but I kind of like Raichu just for the Paralyzes and kind of pestering that way. I just think that's a solid play. I'm going to go Lugia, I'm going to go Raichu, I'm going to bring Landers in the back end, and I think we're just going to go same squad. I just like this all around. I just feel like it does a lot of work, so let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's like, grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. 
But uh, he does have Frostmoth. Frostmoth is a very powerful Pokemon. Might be Life Orb, but it is four times weak to, I think, Rock and Fire, right? I know Fire for sure because Ice and Bug, but I think, yeah, Rock too, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we should be able to rip up into him, especially with Landers. I feel like Landers could be good. I think Landers could be really, really good. He's going to end up going who has this? He's going to end up going with these two as. Kind of scary, a little bit. Don't really like it. That could be weakest policy, Zekrom. They could potentially just pop it. Um, I could fake out the uh, Frost. Could definitely fake out the Frost Moth. And he cannot go for an electric which would be good for us. So I kind of just want to go here. Fake you out. And then go straight into, like, be an Aero Blast, take some speed. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Aero Blast for some speed. I think he's going to Dynamax to Zekrom, right? And I could like, go into a Quake, but he can't Lightning me, which is really, really good. That's what's so good about Raichu, I don't know. It just doesn't allow Pokemon to be able to drop lightning. I do dig it. I'm going to hope he doesn't Dynamax for all small things. He just goes to like a regular move. Because then I get a speed boost. And then I can proc the boost policy next turn. I do dig it. I do dig it. I do like it. I do like it. Let's see what he does here. I'm going to Dynamax. Which leads me to think that he's not Dynamax. Unless he's Dynamax in for all small. Because I was going to say Zekrom should be faster than Lugia. And if not, Zekrom's fine. But I think he's going to Dynamax that Frost. Which is kind of annoying, yo. Frost Moth's a beast. He's a beast, yo. This thing just hits like an absolute truck. But I could also nuzzle it next turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Is he going to Dynamax? I think he's Dynamax and Frost Moth, right? Unless Zekrom's actually slower than Lugia in this instance. That'd be fine by me. I actually would rather that happen than him going Dynamax and Frost Moth. And that is exactly what's happening. Okay, I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. So he could potentially proc weakness policy. If he's rocking weakness policy on his uh deck around. Let's see how this one plays out here. We are going to fake out. Beautiful. We ain't even gonna let him get a turn. We're gonna say, oh, we get a crit on the fake out. Let's go. <laughs> crit on the fake out. We're gonna drop an airstream. This should KO, right? This should KO. Beautiful. We get rid of Frost Moth instantly. Nice little play by us. We still have lightning right on the field. I can proc weakness policy next turn. And then we have some speed going on. Some lovely little speed. Some lovely little speed. So let's see what he does here. He's gonna go for Worm Wind. He's gonna go for Lightning. Wait a minute. Oh, he, dude. He, he, oh, that's whack. That is whack, man. I was gonna say, how is this landing? But then I realized his, 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 his ability goes through a ability. Come on now. Come on now. At least we have we are plus one on speed and he proc the policy on our own. Come on now. That's, that's a little whack. That's a little whack. I totally forgot about that. That's whack. That is so whack hate this game i don't like this game not one bit not one bit but lugia should be faster than most i could nuzzle up on his other pokemon we could do some work here but let's see who he goes into that's the real question that hurts the soul man i saw the lightning come out here i was like okay cool we're just gonna soak it up with lightning rod and then i started the animation started happening i was like yo what is going on it's <laughs> like is this game broken and then i realized he is terrible as his ability that hurts the soul man that hurts the soul when you forget about something like that I wonder who he's gonna go into. Hopefully he goes into someone I can just like nuzzle up into. Might be Lunala. Lunala might want to pop a trick there. So I think Nuzzle's gonna be our best player. He already Proctor Policy. Could go into a Quake. Let's see who he goes into. Is it Lunala? It's gonna be Lunala, and I think Lunala's popping a trick. I think Lunala is gonna pop a trick. But in this case, he might guard, but I'm just gonna go for a Quake. I think he's gonna guard in Trick Room. I really do. But I'm, hope, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping we can at least get off this nuzzle and this max quake. Would be nice. It would be a nice little turn. But in this instance, we would still have focus ash. But then uh, if he does guard and trick room, then he takes speed from us and he can take out my Lugia. No problem whatsoever. That hurts, man. Max lightning hitting somebody with Raichu on the field. I think that's a first for me. I think that's a first for me. I was so confused at first. I was like, come on, yo. What, what is this? I really did think the game was broken for like a good two seconds. I was like, let me think about this. Let me think about this. But it is crazy how much different stuff happens in Pokemon or could happen in Pokemon. It is really wild. But we're going to end up nuzzling. Beautiful. And he's not going to end up guarding, which is huge. The nuzzle is going to hand out the Paralyzes, which means we get off this lovely little Max Guard. Or well, not Max Guard, just Max Quake. And should be able to do a nice chunk of damage with this weakness policy, Brock. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful chunk of damage. And if he doesn't trick him... I hope he does it, but I think he is coming to. We can get off some more turns here. Let's see what his play is. Oh, and he's weak to his policy too. He is indeed weak to his policy. So I think he just takes out my Lugia here, right? Yeah, lightning comes out here. Oh, it goes after Raichu. 
going for a meteor beam. Oh god. He's gonna go for a meteor beam into my loot. Okay. That's fine. Oh, and he's paralyzed. Oh, we love that. We love it. We love it. Do I predict the max guard? Do I predict the max guard? He's gotta guard him, right? I might just predict this max guard. I might just predict this max guard. He's got a guard. He's got a max guard here, right? He's got a max guard. Go ahead. Go for the max guard. I'm double down on Lunala. You have to max guard here, knowing that we could just take out your Zekrom. Just do it. Just max guard. Just max guard. And how weird was that? That Raichu just got hit by a max lightning. That's weird, right? That's unseen. Go ahead. Guard. Guard with Zekrom. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But yo, big time paralyze coming out from our, from our lovely little Raichu. It's a big time paralyze. We're gonna brutal swing still, chip up some damage onto that Lunala. Let's see. Oh, he does not guard. Come on, look at my face. Get out my face. Can we still get rid of this uh, Lunala? I don't know. Lunala's pretty bulky. Get rid of this Lunala, please. We do. Beautiful. So we get rid of Lunala. Uh, I wish we would have got rid of this, Ekman, but I, I'm kind of fine with that because we have some fast Pokemon in the back end. We do have some fast Pokemon in the back end. I mean, I think he takes out Lugia here, right? There's no way he takes out Raichu. He's got to take out Lugia. Yeah, he takes out Lugia. I'm fine with that because I can nuzzle his next Pokemon. I kind of get after it that way. But he did not protect there. Wow. I mean, I kind of like that turn right there because if he was going for a Trick Room, I feel like that would be our only way to lose this battle. I don't mind losing Lugia and then bringing out a Pokemon like Landers at this point. I could bring out Yveltal, but I'll save my Yveltal and go into Lando. Go into Lando. Yeah, yeah. Good old Lando. Good old Lana. And I think Zekrom is physical attacking, right? So Intimidate can do some work. And who could his other Pokemon be? Who could your other Pokemon be? Kind of? I don't even care who it is. It's going to get nuzzled. It's going to get nuzzled, buzzled, and paralyzed. So not a bad battle for us. This is looking really good for us. Nice little start from us. I do like it. But yo, I was getting so thrown off by the Max Lightning. It's like that it might be the first time I've seen a Raichu get hit by a Lightning. A Max Lightning. That's weird to see. It's definitely weird to see. But I was, so, I was so confused. I was so confused. Yo, I just, this is like one of my first time looking at Zekrom's hands. Like, look at that. He has claws on the inner palms, which is sick. Look at his inner palms. He just has claws in there. Oh, looking amazing. He's going to go into Rotom. Oh, that's kind of fine with me. I can't nuzzle him. Wow, I cannot nuzzle him. Let's just swap right here, just for fake out later. I could swap right here for fake out later. Actually, I could do this. Do I swap him for fake out? I mean, what other value does he have here? What other value does he have besides a fake out? So yeah, let's swap him. Do that, and then I'm just gonna go into an earth power. Oh, do I choose to earth power, or do I go into like a rock team? I mean, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of you with earth power, and then I'm going to swap the landers. And then I'm gonna swap the landers, and choose to a rock team. Then I can swap back in the Raichu after I get rid of the Zekrom and have Lightning Rod ready to go. I think that's his play. I think he wants to get rid of uh, get rid of my boy Raichu. I'm gonna swap into Yveltal, which I really like. And hopefully he doesn't protect the Zekrom. Goes for an ally switch. Oh, what a play! What a play! Nah, that's not a bad play. That's not a bad play. Earth Power's gonna come out here, and Levitate's gonna dodge it. What's he going for here? Go for a bull strike. And it does not affect landers. Cool. 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 I'm with that. Um, I could snarl. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna snarl and I'm gonna i I'm gonna stick with my earth power. I'm gonna stick with my earth power here. I don't think he I don't think he doubles down with Alice, which that would be a power move, but I gotta stick with this earth power. I do not think he doubles down with Alice. I think that's what he's thinking. I think he's thinking like, do I ally switch here again or do I just keep it normal? And I, I don't think he has some moxie. I don't think he has some moxie to double ally switch. It's not, it's not in him like that. He, he ain't like that. He ain't like that. He is not like that. To drop a double ally switch. He ain't like that. He ain't like that. I'm telling you. No moxie in this dude. He, he ain't about it. He ain't about it. I'm letting you know now. He ain't about it. He ain't about it. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm not even going to stress about it. And he is about it. He is about it. He drops a double ally switch. He's going to go into a bolt strike into my... Into my what's it called, which is kind of scary. My Yveltal. But Yveltal outspeeds. I could start dropping Snarls, which is huge. 
And wow, he's about to end. Snarl just picks up the KO. Yo, you fell tall. That's amazing. That's amazing. Cool. I'll take that all day. That works perfectly. That works perfectly. That works perfectly. So now I'm just going to hard swap my Lando. I think he does cancel battle because Lando can't do anything with that Jade Scarf. No, well, I'm just going to swap. And I'm just going to drop a nice, lovely little sucker punch. It's sucker punching. And then I'm just going to roll into Raichu. But that should be GG's. I think our opponent cancels battle. And Velta just comes in clutch with that huge damage on that song. We love it. We love it. But that, I got to give it to our opponent. He is about it. He is about it. I was just talking all that work. I was saying he ain't about it. He doesn't have the moxie. And then he does it. But he wasn't about to triple out if he was still alive. There was no way. That would have been that would have been real deal stuff. That's how you know you're about it. When you rock three ally switches in a row, you're about it at that point. You are about it. But uh, yeah, I think he's trying to figure out ways that he can actually win this battle. But this battle is pretty much over. Right, cancel battle? Like, what are you going to do here? I have lightning rod Pokemon. I have a rock move. Like, dude, I'm going to eat you. And he does not, he does not cancel battle. I think he's gonna go into a lightning move in the I'll talk. I'm just getting Raichu back out and about here. Just getting Raichu back out and about. Oh, and he's gonna ally switch. That actually works in his favor. He's about it. Yo, we used three ally switches in a row. He's about it. It's kind of annoying, but I'm just gonna snarl and fake him out. I'm just snarl and fake him out. He just cancel battle, dude. This is gonna be a long, this is gonna be a long, long thing for us. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel battle. We really went for a sucker punch, and this guy was like, nah, yo, I'm ally switching. You cannot land your sucker punch. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Let's see what he does. Come on, dude. This battle's over. Let me get to my next one. I, 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 gotta, I gotta do three battles, man. This guy doesn't know. This person doesn't know. The jeans is recording right now. The jeans is recording, and he wants to he wants to get it. He wants to get after it. Is this guy really gonna waste out the clock? Oh my god. Leave me alone. <laughs> Like, come on, yo. You, you really wasted out the clock? Fine. Fake out's going to come out here. Chip up some damage. We're not even going to be able to kill you. I ain't going to be able to kill this thing. We're just going to snarl. And that's some big damage, but we have to wait one more turn, and then we pick up this GG. It doesn't even cancel battle. Just cancel battle. Do not waste that clock again. I'll go for Brutal Swing. Come on, yo. This dude's really waiting the 30 sec or the, the minute. Is this, is this, is this what, what, what he or she wants to do? This is, is this what they want to do? Is this is how they hop on there. It's like, yo, let's hop on the rank ladder and waste everyone's time. <laughs> I'm about to run this battle. I'm about to cancel it. Yo, I swear, if this person protects, I'll run the battle. I'll run the battle if this person protects. Tired of wasting time. Time is money, people. Time is money. But yeah, that's what they came to do. That sounds awful. That sounds that sounds awful. This person that upset, or is maybe it's just a jeans fan. It's just like I'm gonna stay here as long as I possibly can, which is hilarious. But brutal swing seems coming through here. Can brutal swing KO? It does not. It does not. But Snarl does. Beautiful. So there's the there's the final KO. The last Pokemon took us a while to take out, but we go one and one. We grab ourselves our first win. Now we can hop into our third battle. Look for a winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A nice little win for us in battle number two. But we're hopping into our third battle, and we're going up against a Mewtwo team. So this is a nice little change of pace. Mewtwo, you don't really get to see too much on the rank ladder, so it's always fun to go up against one. He also has Solgaleo as his second restricted Pokemon. Then he's got the Landers. He's got the Regilecki, the Urshifu, and then Rillaboom, who I'm not too worried about. I'm not too worried about the Rillaboom. Um, I could end up leading... I mean, Yveltal's going to be solid, doesn't it? No, it does not have foul play. Kind of things, but it does have sucker punch. So Yvelta is gonna be not bad here. I kind of like Yvelta, but uh, who should I go into this one and how should I play it? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Incineroar's not too shabby. Um. I do like the intimidates on him, so I might just go Incineroar, rock out with him. Let me see your moves here real quick. Let's have Will O Wisp. Will O Wisp could be nice up against like Solgaleo or something like that. So I'm gonna go you. And or I could just go, dude. Raichu Lugia is looking real nice. Raichu Lugia is looking real nice. You know what, I'm just going to go Raichu Lugia and then bring Incineroar in this battle instead of Landers. I just like the Raichu Lugia combo. It works really well. It's great for speed control. There's a lot of different work on a, on a bunch of different Pokemon. I just like it a lot. I like it a lot. So that's who I'm going to end up leading. It's just a solid lead for this team. It really is. But yeah, one and one so far. It would be nice to grab yourself a nice little win here. Nice, lovely little, little win for the Jeans community. And I wonder who he's going to lead. Who are you going to lead? Landers and Urshifu. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We can fake out. We can nuzzle buzzle. And I'm thinking I'm nuzzling that Urshifu. 
Or I could fake out the Urshfu and go to an air move. That ain't a bad play for us. That is not a bad play for us. I kinda dig it. I kinda dig it. Definitely wanna go into an airstream here. I'm gonna fake him out. He might protect. I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna go for it. He might detect, but I still like this turn. I still like this turn. He might max Quake, which could be a solid turn from him. But in that case, we do have speed. And, walk in there. and then Raichu should survive a max quake. Like, yeah, obviously. Unless he doubles down into me. But we'll see how this one plays out. He's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. I wonder if it's Urshu. It's got to be the landers, right? It's got to be quakes from the land. It's just his best option, right? It's just his best option. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be quakes from the Lando. The Lando is going to get that. We're hoping he's not detecting the Urshu. And we can get off this lovely little airstream and take it out. And the proc weeks policy on their own terms. But the, like I said, there's a nice little chance that he actually does detect here. There's a nice little chance. So I'm going to Dynamax the Lugia. We're going to roll after it. He knows. He knows that we're rocking the air move. He knows we're probably weak to this policy. He knows we're probably boost. If I saw the Raichu and Lugia combo, I would think the same thing. But we end up Dynamax. We go up to 366 HP. And show me no protection merge for me. Good sucker punch me. Does detect. God dang it, dude. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I know it. He's going to quake next turn. But more importantly, we still get the speed boost. The speed boost is solid here. Airstream's going to come out here. We love it. Still going to chip up some mean damage. And we get that speed. Nice, lovely speed. Good old speed. He's got to be quaking here, right? You have got to be quaking. Yeah, he's going to quake my... Uh... He is going to quake my Raichu. Raichu is going to pop Sash. And then I think I think we just pop our, our own thing. I mean, who could he swap into that's really going to soak up this uh, airstream? I think I'd rather quake here instead of. I think I might quake here instead of uh. Instead of what's it called instead of airstream because he could swap into a Pokemon like Solgaleo here. And the quake could do some work. Hey, yeah, you know I'm gonna quake. I'm going to quake and I'm just gonna brutal swing pop policy. The play just in case he swaps like we should be able to take him out with a with a quake just in case he swaps this could be a really good turn for us maybe i should have went to an airstream airstream definitely could do this good for speed boost but again i think he has a slight chance of him actually swapping here so it, it could definitely do us good if he swaps into a pokemon like so so really out here make it, dude dude do it just swap into so really out here that could be big time plays for us i could have swapped the i probably should have swapped the uh what's it called Probably should have swapped the uh, Raichu into Incineroar, but this play isn't bad here. But again, we're just going to proc policy here. I'm going to take a special defense boost. And more importantly, we are just going to get after this uh, Urshfu and take him out. So this should be able to take him out, no problem. We did change to a quick just for a special defense boost. That was good up against special attackers. Beautiful. So Urshfu is going. I like that all day. I could not allow him to stay here because Wicked Blow could do some ridiculous damage on this. But what I could do next turn is just swap, but I think he might just take out my Raichu here. Which I'm hoping he does. Let's see what he does. He's going to Quake. He's going to take out my Raichu. So he's just going to boost his special defense. Um, I'm kind of cool with that. kind of cool with that. I could go into Incineroar here. Could definitely go into Incineroar. Incineroar can come out here. I could start boosting our speed. Do I go Incineroar or do I go Yveltal? We just save our Yveltal. I'm going to go Incineroar here. I mean, we do have Fake Out ready to roll. We are faster than this Lakers, and I'm thinking I'm just airstreaming again into whatever slot you guys open here, and will a whisper. He's gonna go Regilecki. He's gonna go Regilecki. He, he's gotta think that we're faking out. He's gotta think that we're faking him out. I might just read it. I might just read it. I could also Quake again. Quake ain't too shabby here. But I, we need some speed here. You know what? I'm just gonna speed up, and I'm gonna go into this level. I'm just gonna double down on the Lakers. I'm just going to double down on the landers because he does end up protecting the Regilecki. Great call by Jeans. We end up reading this protect hard. And we end up airstreaming and hopefully landing this up with a Sphere. Should be able to soak up these plus two. But more importantly, we get off some damage. And then we can just roll out into this lovely little will Because if this will connects on this physical attacker, that's a solid turn for us. It's a great turn for us. And he outspeeds us. That's a little, that, that stinks a little bit, but still. Luckily, he wasn't going into a Quake. Luckily, he was not going into a Quake. So he's going to take speed. 
That's fine. But again, land us Willow Wisp in the more. I need you here, buddy. I need you here. Let's go. Big time Willow Wisp land. We throw a nice little burn onto him. That's huge. That's huge. I usually don't use Incineroars with uh, burns with Willow Wisp. That's actually really nice for us. We don't have our Lightning Rod Pokemon, which sucks. So we have to try to get rid of this uh, this Regilecki. I mean, we still have our Multi Scale, which works really well, too. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I am digging it. So I'm just going to Earth Power right into you. And then in this case, I'm just going to double down into Regilecki here. Because Regilecki's got to go. I'm not really too worried about the Landers. I'm more so worried about the Regilecki. The Regilecki. And he might have what's called Chillin' in the back end. So Galeo. But in that instance, we do have a nice little belt on the back end. So he's going to end up going for an E-Web. He's going to slow us down a little bit. Take off Multi-Scale. He might take out my Incineroar, but... I mean, Incineroar might be able to eat up. He just might be able to eat up with this burn. See what he goes for. He's going to go for a Rock Slide. No flinches. We, should, we both should be able to eat up. No flinches. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Oh, come on, Lugia. Come on, Lugia. You're better than that. I need you there. I need you there. Dark Slayer is going to poke out here. He's going to chip up some damage. Oh, my God. Not just chip up some damage. It's a crit. God dang. Brings him down to one. Free Focus Ash on him. And what do I do from here? I could swap it in or could swap it in or but I'm just going to go for the Earth Power. And I'm just going to go for Dark Slayer over on the slot. God dang it, Rock Slide, man. It's like doing me so dirty with the flinches. So dirty with the flinches. And I am kind of scared of Solgaleo because we don't have foul play. We have Sucker Punch, though. We do indeed have Sucker Punch. I wonder what he's going to go into here because Thunderbolt can take me out. T-Bolt can take me out. Maybe should have protected my Lugia here. I should have been a smart play. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up going for a Thunderbolt. There it is. That should take me out, right? Oh, no. Lugia is just out bulking everybody. Miss a Rock Slide. Miss it! Oh, my God. If you flinch my Incineroar, I'm going to cry a little bit. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I swear I'll cry. I swear I'll cry. Don't flinch him. Oh, my God. I cannot do it. I cannot deal with it. I cannot deal with it. Okay. It's fine, I guess. We'll go into the Eveltal here. Don't tell me we're going to lose the flinches. This battle's going to be a lot closer now. Um, Obviously, Sucker Punch got to come out here from Eveltal. Wait, Sucker Punch into a Dark Slayer. Got to roll into it. Sucker Punch. Dark Slayer. Let's get it. Let's get after it. Ready to go for an attacking move, please, Regilecki, just so I can Sucker Punch you and finish you off. But I can't believe that Regilecki, first of all, lived all in one. And second of all, the lander is getting two flinches. Come on now. I never get flinches. He's going to end up protecting Regilecki. I'm cool with that. You cannot take out my Incineroar. You cannot take out my Incineroar. You cannot take out my Incineroar. Unless, like, dude, I swear, if you get another flinch, I'm going to be very upset. Ah! I hate this game. I don't like this game. Dude, this game stinks. This game is so bad. Um, You know what? We're just going to do this. This game's bad. This game's real bad. This game's real bad. Cool. We get rid of you. This game's real bad. He's gonna end up going for a Thunderbolt into my Veltal who has a Soul Fest. That works good. Now we can just go for Dark Slayer. Okay. So we have a fighting chance here. Oh my god, dude. Three flinches on three rock slides? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Oh my lord, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. So good thing we did switch that up. I mean, it probably would have been better if we would have went the other way. But actually, no, because then Incineroar would have been down. So good thing we actually did switch that Sucker Punch over onto the other Pokemon. But let's see who's final Pokemon is. Is it Sogaleo? I'm hoping Incineroar can outspeed. Like, it's plus one on speed. Which is nice, which is rather nice. Mewtwo's coming. Okay. Kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, we are down on one HP. Am I plus one on speed? Incineroar? I am not. Why do I think I was? That hurts. I do have Sucker Punch ready to roll. It's super effective. We have Dark Reward out here. I could go here. Plus, he doesn't have he doesn't have a terrain, so I don't think he can double hit here. Sucker Punch gonna fly here. How much damage am I doing? It's a big chunk. That's a big chunk. That's a big chunk. He goes for Icy Wind. Incineroar, you should be able to eat that out. Cool. Both. Oh, wow. Wow, battle comes down to the wire there, and that should be GG's. Oh my god, if I would have lost that battle due to flinches, this monitor would have been picking up like this. You guys would have seen me just throw it through the wall. 
<laughs> I would have just hugged it right through the wall. I'd be like, well, jeans, time to go to Best Buy, buy a new monitor. But nah, it's all good. We end up taking that W and going 2 1 for today's video. I'm so happy we were able to grab ourselves a nice little winning record for today's video. Considering we played really good with the Raichu and Lugia. It was just a great lead in all three battles. And then we had our back end Pokemon such as Velta, Incineroar, and Landers come out there. We didn't get to use P2 out today, but you guys already know the deal with P2. He can do he can do a lot. And you guys have seen him plenty of times on the channel. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.